Hello and thank you for watching. This is a tutorial for Boris Berlin's daily exercises. There are 20 sets in this book and this video is concentrating on set number nine. It will be first a tutorial and then followed through by a playthrough. So if you already know how to do the exercises and you just want to skip ahead to the playthrough, find the link in the description to skip ahead to the playthrough. So we'll start with exercise one for the independence of fingers. This is gonna concentrate on a firm bridge, but a firm bridge in a more spread out position. So you see how my hand, it's not straight like this, it's just slightly turned to the angle. So we're gonna keep this bridge shape, but it's gonna be a little bit open, if you will. Still concentrating on the first knuckle, not letting that cave in. And we'll be playing on the portion of the hands, the top portion, and then kind of the side a little bit. So we're working on keeping a strong hand while it's in an octave shape, even though we're not playing up here at this time. We're gonna to try to group the notes in terms of gestures. And what I mean by that, if you see there's an accent on the first of the four eighth notes, and then another group of four eighth notes, then we move up the scale. So we're going to feel that as a down. that a little bit faster this is what it would sound like always focusing on a good bridge etc here's exercise two for relaxation we've worked very hard in the previous exercises from just lifting one note at a time we've tried all the different fingers now we have two notes at a time so the way I teach this is down on finger three using the full pad, by the way, and then up on finger four. So it's going to feel down, up, down, up. You're not doing anything on four. You're just rolling through. So it makes it sound like the first one's louder than the second. That musical gesture, two note slurs, used in many, 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 many composers. Here's exercise two, side view for relaxation. I just want you to see the down, up motion of the wrist. So we've got down, up, down, roll up. No extra motion on that fourth finger. We're not pressing off. We're just rolling through. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. Here is exercise three for stretching. Just holding down the pinky and gently rolling the thumb. You're going to have to change the angle of your hand as you move these around. Always making it very gentle in the rolls. Here's exercise four for passing over the thumb in the scale. So we're working at the top part of the scale where Let's say we were going on for two octaves. So we're working on from here, crossing to here and here. So the thumb's gonna be locked in kind of at the bottom of the key. And then the other fingers are gonna pivot over the top of the thumb, keeping a nice bridge and not letting the wrist move around a ton. It's just a small little pivot. So we'll start with just one note, finger four to finger two. Notice where they're playing on the white keys. Then four and three a little bit bigger of a pivot then four three two the hands always staying in a nice curved shape here's exercise four for passing over the thumb in the scales notice the angle of the hand it's just going to be slight pivot is really folding under the curvature of the hand. Here is exercise five for the octaves. 
Now we've done octaves next door in scales in the previous exercise. Now we're working on octaves within a C chord. So do, mi, do, so, do, do. So getting that geographical feel of where those notes do, mi, and so are. The second part of this exercise is grouping the octaves in group of more than one note because there are several pieces that will have passages of repeated octaves. So it's a technique to prepare for one drop for a lot of notes. Lock in where your thumb is looking on the piano. So we look up to so, and here's an octave. Then the thumb is going to lead. Part two, we're learning how to group more than one octave in a physical drop. So we're going to just drop for the quarter notes, and we're going to feel down, up, or down, touch, and then groups of three, down, touch, touch, down, touch, touch, and then groups of four, down, touch, 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 down, touch, touch, touch. In the larger groups, my wrist is going to be kind of going up like an airplane taking off. So down, touch, touch, or down, touch, touch, touch. If we were to do this fast, it would sound like this. One, two, down, touch, down, touch, down. So we want to keep our hand loose the faster they get. Here is exercise six for the trills. It is really hard to see the finger numbers for this, but I took out my magnifying glass and the finger numbers for this exercise are two, four, three, four, two, four, three, four, two, four, two, four, two. So switching fingers within a trill, you will experience this in some of the romantic and more advanced repertoire. So it's good just to get used to switching those fingers between trill notes. So. Again, with the accent, we are going to group three notes into one down gesture. So it's going to look like this will be two, four, three, four, two, four, three, four, two, four, two, four, two. So we're feeling down, up, up. The other thing I want you to notice is look at where two and three are living on that note. So two's down here, three's here, four gets its own note. So. We're just switching who gets to play that E there. So we'll do that one more time. So we've got two, four, three, four, two, four. My hand's at a slight angle. I'm not playing this like this because otherwise the third finger would have to reach over there. We want to find the angle at which both two and three feel comfortable playing on that E there. Here's exercise six for trills. We've got the nice shape. Here's exercise seven for repeated notes. Now we're going to the right, so our hand's going to look a little bit more at an angle. It's not going to start out here. It's going to start out here so we can play the four, three, two, one, four. Finger four for this exercise is going to be more on the plane where the C is versus up here is where it might feel like it occurs more naturally. But for these repeated notes, we're going to start. Four is going to play here, three is going to play here, and two is going to play here. So it's going to look like this. See, one and four playing kind of in the same spot. Then you notice there's a little two note slur there in between each groups. So that's going to be your up. So we'll have touch, 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 down, up, touch, touch touch, down right next door, and wrist is higher for this exercise seven. Here's exercise seven for repeated notes, side view. Notice the wrist is a little bit higher, and we're going to start with four out here on the same plane as the thumb.
here's exercise eight for double thirds. In this one, we want a nice, nice hand position, so a nice bridge, a nice first knuckle. This exercise is working on the transition between a passage and double thirds. So double thirds played at the same time, where you might have a long scale, and you're crossing like this. So there's this moment where you have to crawl over the pinky in order to make it feel legato. And that's what we're working on here. So we're gonna start with three and five, and then just hold the five. This is not gonna feel the best, by the way, and just get used to that awkward angle. It will never really last this long in a piece. But that moment is gonna help make your double thirds more legato. And then the second half of this, we're gonna just release that pinky but you feel the moment that it's creating a legato for one second here's exercise nine for triads so these are triads these are second inversion triads so so do me certain shape used all the time in music trying to find just what is that distance when you're in that chord shape so jumping back and forth roll up as you jump and then these are going to go around in a little circle. Or they could go the other way. Both of those work. Memorizing that shape. Here's exercise 10. And this one will be done on the tips of the fingers, not the flat part, but more the, the top part of the tips. And this is like, if you've ever played Hannon, this is one of the Hannon exercises. So, it's a first inversion position. Again, this position is used in music all the time, so we'll start by standing up. And you're just going to feel one down. See if you can play this. You see how my hands are on the keys? I'm not going like this. They're anticipating. They're already on the keys. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling the energy through my wrist. I could go up and over. Not as good as the first way, but it is possible. Here's exercise 10 for the five finger side view. I want you to see the nice shape of the hands and the fingers aren't really leaving the keys. We're moving the energy through the fingers. Exercise 11 for skips. This is just getting us used to this interval of a tenth or an eleventh. I have large hands so I can actually reach a tenth, but you just want to know how far away that feels. We're pretty comfortable now with fifths and octaves. A tenth is actually a third displaced, so another really important interval to be able to play. So this is from me to so, and then re to so. Here we go. Lightly touch, keep your hands close. So here we go. So two on me, re, so. Keyboard geography is for the skips. Here's exercise 12 for chords. In this one, we're just taking turns here in this C chord position. Notice I'm not straight. My hands are at a slight angle, turned slightly. So I'll be playing about two thirds on the right hand part of the pad at the top here because the hand is not going to be straight. It's going to be the slight angle here. And we're holding down two notes. Let's get begin. So we'll have top two held down and then try to see if you can make those notes sound at the same time. Now you're going to hold on to the bottom. Middle two. And then the top. This one's kind of hard, I think. And then the middle. Here's 
Here's exercise 13 for the tremolos. The key to tremolos is keeping your hands really, really in contact with the keys and you're kind of jiggling your, your hand back and forth. Notice the anchor of my thumb as I play these. We're gonna be switching the top finger. So we'll start out kind of stretched out, then getting smaller and back out. Now, if you notice in measure two of this, it looks like a half note, but then it's like a 16th note bracket on the bottom. All that means is you're gonna play eight 16th notes. It's just a way of notating it a little bit differently. So we'll start out with an octave, big stretch. Notice the U shape right here. Thumb is staying, touching the key. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on Boris Berlin's Essential Daily Exercises set number nine. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique and piano literature. Now, if you'd like to stay tuned, we'll do a complete playthrough. You can just play along for your daily regimen. Thanks again for watching. This is the complete playthrough of Boris Berlin's Essential Daily Exercises set number nine. We are going to alternate. We'll start with the right hand and then go to the left hand and we will do all repeats for this playthrough. Here's exercise one for the independence of fingers. This, our fingers are gonna be stretched out for this one. three and four, down, up, two note slurs. Down, up, down, up, down, up. On the up, don't press up, just roll through the note so it kind of evaporates. Let's do the same thing with the left hand. Down, up, Start with the right hand pinky, locking in on C, gently rolling down this chromatic scale, gentle rolls on each note, then work yourself through a C chord. Let's do that one more time. So it's just gently opening up to the space of an octave. starting on F. Exercise four, we're just working on the pivot points. The top of the scale, 
we'll try to keep your wrist not moving around too much. Let's do that again. Four. Your wrist, you're not going up and down. Just kind of keeping your wrist on an even plane. Pivoting over your thumb. Let's try that with the left hand. So. Exercise five for octaves, we'll do all the repeats on this. So first we're going up in a C chord. Do, Mi, Do, So, Do, Do. Let's try that again. Do, Mi, Do, So, Do, Do. Same thing coming down. Do, So, Do, Mi, Do, Do. Getting really familiar with those intervals of a major chord that are used all the time. Now the next exercise, grouping the notes to one gesture. So we have one, two, then we're going to have down, touch, down, touch, down, touch, touch, down, touch, touch, two, three, four. Let's try that a little faster. Hand, same thing. C chord going up. Here we go again. Coming back down. One more time. And then the left hand gestures. First one slow and then one more quickly. in that one. Okay, here's for the trills. We're going to get our finger set with the right hand two and three, and we'll do this two times through, feeling a down on the accent and then up, up for the other notes in that triplet. So... Left hand, four, two, three, two, four, two, three, two, four, two, three, two, four. So we'll start with a slow Remember, we're going to start with our right hand four, kind of out there on the same plane as the C. Down, touch, 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 down, touch, 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 down. One more time, here we go. Touch, 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 down, up, 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 down. Okay. Left hand, here we go. Look at the angle of your hand. Touch, touch, down. Exercise eight, double thirds, we'll get five and three set. Two, three, four. Now here's the awkward one. Two, three, four. Keep holding. Down, touch, down, touch. And then we've got down. 
walking over to the right. Left hand, same thing. So we got the awkward holding first. A little bit easier for the left hand on the way down. One, two, one, two, but still super awkward. Triads, right hand, locking in, where's second inversion? Dropping on those chords. Many circles for that. Circle, left hand. Roll through. Try to get the notes at the same time. fingers. Feel the energy passing through the tips of your fingers. Same thing left hand. Hands are nice and close. For the skips. D. Get your hands for this one for sure. Try a little faster. Get his left hand. Here we go. Exercise 13, tremolos. Here we go with the right hand. We'll do one repeat. First time slower, second time faster. Keep your hand nice and jiggly. Now let's go a little faster. One. Left hand, first time slow, second time quicker. This is going to feel different because the anchor is not the thumb in this one. The anchor is the pinky. So we have... of Boris Berlin's Essential Daily Exercise Set 9. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique and piano literature. Thanks again for watching.